Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video what I want to do is show you guys an additional way that you can export modules and there are actually a couple different ways but this is one of the more common ones so I figured if you ever saw the syntax then it wouldn't you know throw you off so we learned before that anytime we want to export a bit of code from a module then we use this module.exports variable and we gave pretty much our variable custom name and value which in this case was equal to a function. Now, just like before, if we wanted to say export this Chappie function as well, then we can give it a name of Chappie and that would be equal to print Chappie. Simple enough. Now, this may be kind of confusing and you may be looking at this saying, okay, this is kind of uh, repetitive because we're typing our code right here and then we have to go ahead and pretty much type it all again whenever we say we're going to export it wouldn't it be better if we had a more efficient way of doing this well check this out I'm going to delete this code actually let me leave it right there for right now alright so to clear things up let me explain it like this this module that exports this is actually an object and in every single file that you create it actually has a module dot if I could type it it actually has a module that exports object by default so again whenever you first create a module what node.js does is it throws this in even though you know it's kind of behind the scenes and it sets this equal to a blank object so what we were doing in the last tutorial is we we're pretty much adding name and value pairs to this object so then whenever we wanted to import it it goes and it looks for this object and whatever is inside it in this case avatar and print chapter function then that's how it knows what it wants to export or import if you're looking at it from the other point of view however since we know that now what we can actually do instead of just writing our functions and then saying we want to export them one by one we can actually write our functions directly inside this object so how would we do that? Well, check it out. Of course, every function, and we can also export variables too, just like a JSON object, it has a name value pair. So if we want to make that print avatar function, we would just call it something like print avatar and set it equal to an anonymous function. And it would just be like console.log, and I'll just write the name avatar too lazy to type all the ratings and stuff alright so again what this would do is essentially the same exact thing we could use actually let me just go ahead and demonstrate this right now so now what we're doing is we're saying this is the code that we want to export pretty convenient because we only had to write this function one time so now we can just say movies print avatar and check it out it would print out avatar now we can also do this with additional functions let's say we had a couple functions in here maybe print chappy chappy we can use that as well and also let me clean this up a little bit and also if we just wanted to export plain variables so say that we had a variable called like favorite movie or fav movie and we set this equal to like uh, I don't know, like the matrix then we can do that as well so again what we're saying right here is any code inside this object is what gets exported whenever you try to import it somewhere else so now we can just I don't know, do something like console log movies dot fave movie and that'll work as well so again that's what's going on behind the scenes anytime that you create a module it gives you a blank module.exports object by default and you can populate it with whatever you want functions variables whatever so uh, hopefully you guys understand a little bit better and if you guys prefer this method then you know feel free to use it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah see you later